Let me show you what we're actually going to be talking about, and then we'll uh, start talking about it. <laughs> I'm going to start. Um, when we talk about choosing um, or determining if we even have the right architecture style in place, everything really starts um, with the underlying business drivers, uh, which turn into what we call illities. And this is what's really going to drive our architecture decisions. I want to go over that a little bit before we actually jump into all the architecture styles and kind of say, should it be microservices or event driven or maybe space based or maybe it should just even be a simple layered architecture. Um, so determining those architectural characteristics is is first key. And we will actually be doing an exercise on that. And actually, I, I, don't, I don't know, I might give all of you some homework for that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, after we see how to actually um, identify those characteristics that are going to drive our decisions, the next thing we're going to do is look at an overall classification of architecture styles. And this is going to be uh, slightly interactive here. So when we get to that point, I'll have everybody get ready to be poised on the chat window. Then we'll take a look and analyze um, eight of the very common uh, architecture styles here. And uh, what we'll do is, um, I'm not gonna go in depth into these, but just enough to where we can get a sense of how that architecture works, what it's good at, what it's bad at, because that's really what our basis is going to be for, for these. Um, um, after that, we're going to look at another decision criteria, irrespective of our drivers, irrespective of an exact architecture match, is something called domain to architecture isomorphism. In other words, does the shape of the architecture match the shape of the problem that you're trying to solve? And I'll show you some examples and we'll go through uh, quite a few scenarios of trying to figure out what this domain to arch architecture isomorphism is. And then finally, what we'll do is we'll end the class or workshop by actually doing a couple case studies of bringing all this together um, to be able to go through, well, hopefully two, I've got, I've got two case studies set up uh, to be able to actually undergo the exercise of saying, what architecture style should this be? Now, this is an interesting thing, everybody, because a lot of times it's like, well, we already have an architecture. I really don't need to kind of take this workshop because um, we already have an architecture in place. So we don't do many greenfield applications. And I love to counter that kind of uh, thought or opinion. And, and here's why. Because through this class, you're going to get a sense of what uh, things architectures of the eight common architecture styles are good at and also what they're bad at. Um, hopefully, and this might enlighten you to sit back and say, well, now that's the reason why we can't scale, or that's the reason why we have so much trouble with performance. And so uh, the point is that even with existing applications and architectures, uh, the architecture that that application was built upon, let's say three, five, or even 10 years ago, I'm going to guess that your business, your customer demand, your user load, and what your business actually does is a lot different than any of those time periods. And so what we're able to do here is also validate um, whether we have the right architecture in place. And this might actually prompt you to say, that's our problem. We need to be in this architecture style, which may prompt a lot of architectural refactorings. So lots of stuff we'll learn in this, uh, in this important class. So.